Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. In this short video, I'm going to be preparing you for practice E of chapter 17. So now we're moving into power. There's two problems on page 629, number 55 and 56. All right, so let's start with the first one. It says a computer is connected across 110 volt power supply. 110 volts, that's the majority of our appliances in our home, 110 volt power supply. The computer dissipates 130 watts of power in the form of electromagnetic radiation and heat. You probably have noticed some of your devices get hot after a while. They're dissipating some of the power in terms of heat. Calculate the resistance of the computer. All right, so go ahead and write this down. And this is for practice E, chapter 17. All right, number 55. So I've got the voltage is 110 volts. Voltage is 110 volts, kind of normal. And the power dissipates 130 watts. The power is 130 watts. So we want to know how much is the resistance? What's the resistance? Okay, so one of the things that I have memorized, and you probably will too after a while, is that V is equal to IR. That's the first one. The voltage, the current times the resistance. But the other one is the power is equal to the current times the voltage. So an amp times a volt is a watt. I'll write that down. The units of powers of watts, you've probably seen that in your light bulb. Current is amps, and then the volt, voltage is just volts. All right, so we wanna know what the power, what the resistance is, but they only gave us the voltage and the power. So you may wanna to refer to your worksheet here and they give you all these different variations of the same formula. I myself like to derive it. So there's a couple different ways. If I know that V is equal to IR, hmm, what's I equal to? I know that I is equal to V over R, right? Divide R to both sides. So if I take this I, V over R, and I replace it right here, so I'm gonna replace the current with V over R, then I have that the power is V over R times V. Make sense? V over R, that's the current times V. Well, that's equal to V squared over R. So that's why here for power, they also say that the power is IV, that's the one that I know, it's also V squared over R and it's R over I squared. Let's look at that one. All right, so I solved it for I. What's V? Well, let me do it over here. From here, I know that V is equal to P over I. I know it's P over I. So I'm gonna take this V and I'm gonna replace it there. I'm gonna write that down. P is equal to IV. I'm gonna replace the V with the P over I, the voltage of power over I. That's equal to I times P, oh, I went backwards. I wanted to get, okay, I'm gonna get myself my sub term around. I, I saw for I, V over R. V over R, I got that one. Now I wanted to solve for, shoot, I did I, I did V, V is P over R. I'm getting myself turned around. Anyway, so we take just the formula P, I, V, and I solved, for I, and I replaced it in here. Now I wanted to solve for V, I, or that's what I did wrong here. I want to solve for V. Okay, I'm gonna take this, and I know that V is equal to IR. Now I'm gonna take this V, IR, and I'm gonna replace it in here. Okay, so I have I times IR, times IR, right? I got the I and the V, which is IR, so I end up with I squared R. So there you have it versions of the same equation based on V equals IR and the power current times voltage. So I've got power here is R I squared. Well, we put I squared R, so I'm used to seeing it, but it's also V squared over R. Okay, so you have all these choices now, all these choices. And we have the power, the power and the voltage we want what the current is. So let's look at this one. Here we got the power Oh, not this one, this one. So basically you're gonna be looking for which one is it that's gonna help you figure out what you want. So we've got P equals V squared over R. Okay, so there we go. We know the V and we know the P so we can solve for R. Okay, so let me rewrite that. 
right down here. Power is V squared over R. I know the power and I know the voltage, so I can do a switcheroo or multiply both sides by R, then divide both sides by P. And I end up with R is equal to V squared over P. Over P, sorry, over P. All right, so from here I did a switcheroo. I put R is equal to V squared over P. R is equal to V squared over P which is on here as well. All right, so R, here's a resistance down here, is V squared over R, over P, sorry, <laughs> over B. All right, V squared over B. Okay, so we've got the V, the voltage, but I gotta square it, 110 volts, I'm gonna square that, divided by my power, 130, 130 watts. Okay, 130 watts. So is that 110 squared? 110 squared divided by 130. And I end up with R is equal to 93.0769 ohms. So R is about 93 ohms. Okay, 93 ohms. So I just was trying to make a point that based on V equals IR and P equals IV, you can derive all the other versions, okay? And you also have your, your, your notes summary page that has them as well. But I always end up deriving them just to be sure. Okay, so that's the first one. The next one, the operating potential difference. Hmm, that's just another way of saying or a potential difference is voltage is 120 volts. The power rating, interesting, power rating is another way of saying the power. So your light bulb, could be a 60 watt light bulb or a 75 watt light bulb. If you exceed that power, if you try to exceed it, then you're gonna blow it up or it's gonna stop working. Find the current in the bulb and the bulb's resistance. Now they wanna know the current and the resistance. Okay, so let's come down here to, let's see, we've got number 56. Number 56, and they tell us that the first thing, they tell us that the voltage is 120 volts, 120 volts. And they tell us that the power is, what is it, 75 watts, 75 watts. So the first thing I think of is P equals IV. I know that one, P equals IV. So that's convenient because I got the power and I got the voltage, I just need the current. So divide V to both sides and I have that the current is the power divided by the voltage, okay. So I have 75 watts divided by the voltage, 120 volts. And I know I'm gonna end up with ohms. It's a Greek letter, omega. The alpha and the omega. Okay, so what do I have here? 75 divided by 120. Yeah, a little over a half. 0.625 ohms. 0 0.625, 625 ohms. All right, I guess it could be 625 milliohms. Okay, there we go. And then it also asks for, they want to know the current and the resistance. They want to know what's the current and they want to know what's the resistance. So you've got several different options. I happen to know V equals IR. That's the, one of my go-tos. I know the voltage. They want to know the resistance and I just finished figuring out what the current is. Remember, do not round off until the very end. So even if you run it off here to express it, you wanna use the real thing here so you can be more accurate. Okay, so V equals IR. So R must be V over I. So the voltage, 120 volts. And I have 0 0.625, 625 or 625 milliamps. Well, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, I'm getting myself. This was, I told you wrong here. Current is, is amps, sorry, amps. Current is amps, so I'm right, this is 625 milliamps. And please make sure you know how much can kill you. That's a good thing to know. So this is already getting kind of high here, 625 milliamps. Okay, so I take this, this is amps, and notice how I noticed I made my mistake, my, my, my units aren't working. Okay, I still have it in my calculator. It's in the denominator here, so I'm gonna invert it because I don't wanna type it again. Give me one over that. 
times 120. There we go. 192. And that is ohms. 192 ohms. Okay, and that's all that's to it. That's all there's to it. So notice how here they gave us the, the voltage and the power. Sometimes you hear the word wattage for how much watts. And from there, immediately I figured out what the current was. Then they wanted to know the resistance. So I use this one. Now, yes, you can use all those other versions if you wanted to go directly to the resistance. So there's always more than one way to solve the problem. And that's all it is. That's all there is. Bottom line, V equals IR and P equals IV. That's all we have. And I'll see you next time.